In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying radicals with higher index than 2 and have variables in them. Very similar to what we did with square roots when we divided the exponent by 2, we're also going to divide these exponents. With square root, the invisible implied index was always a 2. With higher roots, we have some other number there, which means we're dividing by that other number, or we're dividing by that index to find out how many come outside of the radical. If there is a remainder when we divide by the index, that will tell us how many will remain inside the radical. So, for example, when we have the fifth root of x to the 25th, y to the 17th z cubed, we're going to divide each exponent by the index of 5. For the x's, 25 divided by 5 is 5. So we have x to the 5th outside the radical. There's no remainder, so no x's remain inside the radical. For y to the 17th, 17 divided by 5 is 3 with a remainder of 2. That means 3 y's are outside, and the 2 remainders remain inside the radical. For the z's, when we do 3 divided by 5, we get 0 remainder 3. This means 0 comes out, and the 3 z's remain inside giving us our final solution, x to the 5th y cubed times the 5th root of y squared z cubed. Let's try a second, more interesting example. Here we have numbers and variables, and this time again, we're working with a cube root. Make sure we notice the index, because that tells us how many we're dividing by, and also how many numbers we need to come out of the radical. First, let's factor the 40. You might say 40 is 4 times 10. We can factor the 4 and the 10. 4 is 2 times 2, and 10 is 2 times 5. Now we can decide what we have outside and inside the radical. Don't forget the 2 that's in front of everything. And then we look for groups of 3. 1, 2, Three twos brings one of them outside. Left behind is the number 5. Now that we're done with the numbers, we'll look at the exponents and divide the exponent by the index. For the a's, 4 divided by 3 is 1, a outside, remainder 1, a inside. On the b's, when we divide 8 by 3, we get 2 remainder 2. This means 2 b's come outside, and 2 b's come inside. And it's very important we don't forget the index. Whoops. Finish up by multiplying the 2's together. 4 a b squared times the cube root of 5ab squared for our final solution. Again, with the variables, we will always divide the exponent by the index to tell us how many come outside and how many will remain inside from the remainder when we divide.